Okay, we are given a recipe, and if we look at the recipe quickly, we see that we are given the roast turkey with the chestnut stuffing. Also, the number of servings are given to us there. That's very important. The preparation and cooking time, our ingredients. We are also given temperatures, and then we are given this conversions, which we must look at there. So now that we have an idea of what the information is given to us, so we know where we would look when we are asked certain things. Okay, so if you look at the first question, it says write the ratio of chestnuts to the number of servings. So keep in mind you must stay in the order of the question. So it will be chestnuts is to the servings. So if you look at our information, we have the chestnuts to be two and the servings to be eight so if you look at our chestnuts there's it here it's this portion here that's two and the servings are at the top there so remember we can simplify this thing further so our answer will be one is two four convert the weight of the turkey to kilograms so if you look at our recipe we see we have a turkey that's 12 pounds right and they want us to convert it to kilograms so what we need to do is look for a conversion you see we've got kilograms is to pounds so we use that information so we have kilograms and we have pounds right Remember pounds is lb Okay, so let's write down the given, which is 1 is 2, 2, 2.205. And then, we remember, they are we want us to convert this to kilograms, so our answer would be x there. We're going to use the cross-multiplication method. And then, the information in the turkey said to be 12. So, we cross-multiply, so it will be 2.205. 205x is equal to 12 and then remember we'll divide both sides by 2,05 to get rid of the amount in front of the x and so we'll be left with x is equal to 5,44217 okay and we'll round off this to two decimal place and our answer will be 5,44 kilograms How many milliliters of dried thyme will be needed when preparing this dish? So if you look at dried thyme, dried thyme is right over here. We have one teaspoon of dried thyme. So you should know by now that one teaspoon is five mils and the information is given to you at the top here as well. And should they not give it to you, you should know this by now that one teaspoon is five mils. How many grams of butter will Mrs. Cephaloco use for this recipe? So if you look at the butter, let's look at the butter. We see the butter is two cups. right? And in order for us to know exactly what to do here, yeah, because the question wants us to give the answer in grams. right? And the butter is in cups. We know that one cup is equal to 250 milliliter. This information is also given to us at the top here so we're going to use this but also we're going to use right at the bottom here where it says butter if you look at the butter we've got 250 mils is equal to 250 grams so we know that 250 mils is 250 grams so one cup would be 250 grams so therefore two cups would be 250 times two and it would be 500 grams. Convert the preparation time to hours. So let's look at the preparation time. Okay, our preparation time is 45 minutes. So remember when we're going from minutes to hours, we will divide by 60. So all we gotta do is take 45, divided by 60, and our answer will be 0 0.75 
write the cooking time as minutes only so looking at our cooking time we have 4 hours and 30 minutes so if we were to write this down remember the 60 minutes in one hour so it'll be 4 times 60 plus we need to add the additional 30 minutes and so we arrive at the answer of 270 minutes express the cooking temperature in degrees celsius and we're given a formula what's important about this formula is actually incorrect some of the books that we receive have incorrect um, questions or incorrect um, memos and it's important that you verify with your teachers uh, that you can check if these things are correct if you have any doubt please check with your teachers it's really important that you interact with your teachers the exact amount should be 1,8 and not 4,8 so the first thing we will do is substitute we are given an amount of 347 degrees Fahrenheit so we're going to put this into the formula minus 32 divided by 1,8 so this would be 315 divided by 1,8 and my final answer will be 175 degrees Celsius. Mrs. Cefaloco starts preparing a recipe at 11 minutes to 9 in the morning. What is the earliest time that the meal will be served? So let's look at the hours given to us or the time given to us. That will be the 45 minutes and the 4 hours 30 minutes, which is your preparation and cooking time. So let's make that into hours and minutes so we have four hours and 30 minutes plus 45 minutes right so this minutes part here will actually become so we have our four hours and this two together will become one hour and 15 minutes so i bring the hours together i have five hours and 15 minutes so i'm going to be working with that from my starting time so my starting time is given to me as 11 minutes to 9 so let me start off with that time 11 minutes to 9 is 8 49 plus my five hours i'm going to start off with the five hours so if i had to start counting from the eight now remember only from the eight to the nine is actually the one hour so it would be from eight to nine is my one hour so at 9.49, I'll have one hour. At 10.49, I'll have two hours. At 11.49, three hours. 12.49, four hours. And 13.49 will be my five hours. So I've got 13.49. So the only thing left for me to do is to add the 15 minutes. So if I look at the 15 minutes, I can break up the 15 minutes into two parts. Because I can see I only need 11 minutes for my next hour. So if I put 11 minutes there, I am left a remainder of 4. So let me add that 11 minutes up from where I stopped last. So I can say 13, 49 plus 11 minutes. And that would give me 1400 hours. And then all I need to, add, to do now is to add my 4 minutes. So I'll say 14. 100 hours plus my four minutes and my final answer will be 1404 and that's when it's ready to be served now remember there's different ways of working this out you can look at the different options and see which one best suits you what information on the recipe would make a person want to try using the recipe this is a fairly easy question and it's a person's opinion but more or less you have an idea which we could use where it states simple but seriously yummy okay but this any learner could say something else another learner could say looking at the number of servings uh, if a person has for eight people that would make him want to use it um, so the answer would vary here but more or less keep in line with what you can use and substantiate and you'll get your marks.